LeBron James, the man of very many nicknames. If you listen to Black and White Sports, you may know him as La China James or La Fraud. If you listen to Outkick Sports, you may have heard him as referred to as La Bitch. If you hear Charles Barkley, he may be a quitter or maybe look quitter. We have our own name here, after watching what we just watched, La Cringe James. Ain't I a stinker? Alright, I know we don't review sports very much here on our reviews will kill you, but you know what we do review? We review stuff that shows up on television, and this is one that's going to show up on ESPN. It's a 30 for 30, but before we get there, let me explain to you how we got to here. Looks like LeBron James, as he unceremoniously got bounced out of the playoffs uh, and quit on his team, the LA Lakers, one year removed from the bubble championship that he won, seems like he has his mind on more a interesting things to him so looks like when asked what he felt about losing to the Suns, he said and this is a quote i think i'm going to play for the toon squad rather than the olympics didn't have much much success against the sun so i'm turning my attention to the goon squad in july straight up plugging his brand new movie space jam which I may be in the opinion of uh, not very interesting. So let's go to the actual, let's take a look at the uh, the article here about the show. And it's a 30 for 30. So 30 for 30 on ESPN are usually documentaries about famous things that happened in sports. You know, I guess Michael Jordan and baseball stuff. I don't know, I've seen a handful of them. They're usually very well put together. Some of them are kind of boring. Um, but he, LeBron's never had a documentary about him. But this time he has one that's all just chilling for his brand new movie. It was six minutes and 40 seconds of cringe that I went back. If the movie's anything like this, it's going to be an absolute train wreck. They're trying to create... First of all, they don't even know what tense they're talking about the movie in. Because they're just inter fake interviewing people about the Toon Squad. Sometimes they're talking about as if they already played the game and LeBron already played with them. Sometimes they're playing about the game that will happen in the future and that his <laughs> his his quote unquote son's in it, but his son was already has already been kidnapped or has yet to been kidnapped. I don't know because I don't know what if we're in the present tense, future tense, past tense. Makes no sense. So anyway, what we get here is uh, you know, various tune and goon squad and they're introducing the characters, I guess. There's a little bit about, you know, Don Cheadle shows up. Clearly the only actor in this thing. They have um, a bunch of ESPN people, and it was just so cringe. I mean, come on, man. You guys can't be doing this. It's one thing to shill for a movie, but that, now you've just made 30 for 30 look like a complete joke. Especially when it's six It would have been fine if it would have been like two minutes. But it's six minutes about hyping up the... Uh, you know, there's tension between Bugs Bunny and, and LeBron and who's the best player and who's the most important player and what kind of chemistry they have and like poking fun at his lack of chemistry with other players in the past. And it's like, is this a parody? Like you literally just quit on your team. Like this is bad timing here. You just quit on the Lakers. This is not a smart idea. So what are you thinking here? Um... I found it to be outrageously ridiculous, and it just shows where his head is. He clearly didn't care, already has his mind made up that he's doing all this Hollywood stuff, and it's just whatever. Perhaps one of the greatest players of all time, but he call, they call it the, the bunny and the goat. Sorry, buddy. You're not the goat. MJ is. You never will be. And this just proves that you care more about shilling for a stupid movie than anything else. So, just a mildly interesting story. I didn't see many other people covering it. If you'd like to hear more stories like this, more opinions, rants, and raves from us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, I am the man you may know as E, and you can like, subscribe, do all those fun things. Catch us uh, with our full-length audio podcast that we do record live streaming on YouTube, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And from all of us here to all of y'all at home, we love y'all, and we'll catch you on 
the next one.